everyone, Bacon Geek here, and welcome back to Minecraft Story Mode. Last episode, we basically just, um, we saved a bunch of people, um, in, that were in a skyblock world, but we wound up in this giant, uh, portal room that we see in 6, 7, and 8. So, uh, let's get started. There's probably going to be a little better explanation in a minute or ten. Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. That glow, that enchantment, is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Impressive. Ouch. <laughs> And unexpected. <laughs> and there's a giant ring of portals, so. Green, red, blue, and white. Where in the world is this? There's a bat. What? <laughs> Did you just pop into a random portal? <laughs> There's a bat in my face. Okay, guys, I'm seeing grass, forest, lots of ground in all directions. All good signs so far. Uh huh. Verdict says definitely not our world. You owe me two iron, Lucas. Pay up. Okay, okay. Here. <laughs> I told you it was a dumb bet. Would you guys quit goofing around? This is kind of a serious situation. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. I was just... Uh, I'm just worried about Axel and Olivia. What? Why? Well, if they followed us back to that old builder temple and went through the portal... Oh, yeah. They would arrive in Sky City to find it overflowing with monsters. Yeah. At least we already built them the bridge. Oh, that yeah. is more than we started with. Oh man, I hadn't thought about that. If they followed us, they could be in trouble. Hey, maybe next time we're in the portal hall, we can leave a sign or something. Tell them which one we're going through. I like that idea. Yeah. Well, I for one vote that we not be so hasty to try and get out of here. Who knows what sorts of treasures this new world could hold. Besides, unless the next portal is disguised as a tombstone, I'm not seeing it anywhere near here. I'm seeing something else, though. You guys see some sort of shape over there? Resembles a yeah. book. What is that? Let's find out. Oh, it's a tomb. Okay. There's no pressure plates, so you don't have to worry, right? It says, invitation, and then read immediately, your life depends on it. <clears throat> Greetings, traveler. Yep, that seems about right. Oh, Keep boy. reading, Jesse. We've got your back. I, I humbly invite you to my mansion for an evening of food and festivity with your fellow adventurers. That's odd. Yeah. Yeah, weird, right? Whoa! Do you mind? It here. It's like, do you mind if I can read a book here? Petra, any time now? You can read, right? Hang on, hang on! Need to find Jesse's place. Uh, got it! Come to my home on the hill. Just follow the path. Thank you. Please look out for zombies. Sincerely, the host. Nice warning. Come on, there's the path. I must say, this is the highest concentration of zombies I've ever seen in one place. Oh, jeez, yes. And it's just you zombies. You think this host is going to be legit, Jesse? I just asked because this place hasn't exactly been friendly so far. I hope well, so. I hope so. I wouldn't mind getting out of the zombies for a bit. 
A little too much zombies. Oh, jeez. I'm going to go out on a limb and say, that's the place we're looking for. Really? Race you guys there. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't race so much anymore. Bad, bad knees. <laughs> you're on. Hope you're that on. fighting helped you work up an appetite, Petra, because you're about to eat my dust. <laughs> oh, big words, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is, is dress zombies. Which I guess you could say is a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> okay, hold on, I'm paying attention for uh quick comments. Or bats, one of the two. Episode six, the bonus one. Holy nice! Zombie. Um, beep. Ah! Oh crap. Okay, so avoid zombie. Ah! I wouldn't want to be that zombie right now. Mainly because it would result in death, but... <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> there... I... <laughs> oh, thank you. Like, I'm not prepared to press B, apparently. Oh, now we have a spider. Now we have a non-zombie. Okay. I'm to You hear that too, right? Almost sounds like a... Waterfall! Yeah. Oh, nice. I've been taking a lot of beating from zombies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like the Star Wars reference there. <laughs> if it's not a Star Wars reference, I don't know what it is. <laughs> oh, that was not, that's not bad. But I like that. Um, I don't know. I think I like the, the title five the for the fifth episode. I like think I like that title better. Oh, there we go. Figured. Woo! Nailed it. Okay, okay. You won that one, Jesse. Let's maybe get inside the mansion before we pat ourselves on the back too much, shall we? <laughs> agree and ag agree on both accounts. That front door's definitely a no-go. <laughs> ah! 
stick with me, guys. Oh, jeez. That was a close one. <gasps> that certainly works. Someone with a pocket knife. Heck? What? What'd you see? You just gasped. L like you'd seen something. Don't know who he was. Some creepy guy in the window. He had a white pumpkin for a head. White pumpkin? No such thing as white pumpkins. Let's save the agricultural discussions for inside, okay? <laughs> Let's, yeah. <gasps> Great! There's no door back here. How are we supposed to get in? There, we should be able to build up and break in through there. Trees, we can cut those down. Good plan. <laughs> and oh. now my inventory is full of wood blocks. Yep. Hey, you never know when those will come in handy. True. Sure. Looks like some kind of kitchen in there. Then break the window and get us into the blasted place. <laughs> Hope Sorry. the host doesn't mind us breaking their window. I'm sure he'll find it in his heart to forgive us. I mean... <laughs> invitation to die for. An interesting... Name. Ooh, that's an interesting painting, too. Wow. Some kitchen. Hot dog. You know I don't care if you took it. Just give it back. And I'm telling you, for the last time, Sparkles, I didn't. Wait take a second. A stupid thing. I think we could avoid a lot of unpleasantness. Huh. If... What the? Hi. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Very, very funny. Show up super late, make us all sit and wonder what the heck is going on. Now, this is your house, right? Those are YouTubers, right? If it is, we've all been waiting for like. Hours. It's rude. Now, easy, Torque Dog. Wait, wait, wait. This isn't your house. Ugh. No. Be polite. No, I'm. I'm afraid we're not the ones behind this uh, either. This. That's is... Captain Torque Dog. Sup. And I'm Captain Sparkles. <laughs> no, maybe you know that already. Captain Sparkles, I've got like nine million fans. <laughs> it really is awesome to meet you. I'm Jesse, and that's subscribers. <laughs> Charmed. Jesse? That's a girl's name. What are you guys anyway? Some sort of loser patrol? Or the word of the stock. Oh, come on. That was hilarious. Not really. Actually, we're the Order of the Stone. Legendary heroes. Kind of a big deal. Legendary heroes? I ain't never heard of you. Torque talk. Cool it. That sea of zombies has us all trapped, so we just need to try our best to get along. Agreed. Worst day ever. Just try and look on the bright side. Maybe we can all work together to get through those zombies, power in numbers and all that. That's what we're trying to figure out. Just can't get everyone to work together. I tell you what, the minute all them weird zombies are gone, Ugh. Torque Dog is out of here. Okay, Jeez. so the sea of zombies isn't normal. It's good to hear. Two moons is normal, though, right? Um, the moons? Uh, yeah. Why don't you know about this stuff? You from, like, out of town Kind of or from something? a different world. Where ah! are now? Did you hear that? Oh, 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 oh. Something touched my butt! Who touched my butt? Think... Everyone die for cover! <gasps> oh. Turk Dog's kind of dead. Or dying. Hey, Jesse. Jesse, come here. Oh boy. You've got a, a, a girl's name. Uh, Whoa. Okay. Uh, Torque Dog? Torque Dog? So I'm guessing calling dibs on his inventory would be Ivor. That poor guy, that's so awful. Yeah, he, uh, seemed like a little bit of a jerk. But that's still a nasty way to go. 
All those arrows, this inventory, everywhere. How did that, who? One minute he's alive, the next, gone, poof. Wow, you seem pretty broken up about this. Were you guys close? I mean, not really. He was kind of a tough guy to be close with, but it's still terrible. There's a Spencer right Everyone up there. Everyone stand back. Let me see what I can figure out. This is, why is this happening? Gunpowder, redstone dust, leather pants. Pretty much what you'd expect, I guess. Uh. Uh, who would do this? Guys, found something strange about this arrow. Tipped arrow. Yeah, I yeah. you know potions and enchantments and weird That's... stuff like that. What do you make of it? Yeah, that. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I'm just kind of stunned. <sighs> Mm. Smells like... Yes. Potion of poison? Oh, is it a t tipped arrow? Oh, I've heard of those. They're... they're still pretty new. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nasty stuff. Using potions to make arrows. The possibilities are fascinating. Would you say you know about these tipped arrows? Anything else you know that you're not telling us? What? You're, you're not implying what I think you're implying, are you? Because I had nothing to do with this. Nothing. Not trying to imply it. Sworn I saw someone doing a tutorial on how to make those not too long ago. But my nerves are too shot to remember who right now. <sighs> well, let me know if it comes back to you. Okay, and then the trap. Door. There's the trap door that sucked up Torque Dog stuff. Looks like it's a match set with that arrow dispenser up there. But you saw his stuff. He didn't really have anything worth stealing. Perhaps it was simply to dispose of the evidence. Hello? Everything okay in here? Whoa! What's with the crowd? I, uh, I was just about to get everyone together to tell them at once. Hello, I don't know who you are. Okay? Hang on a minute. It's you! I recognize you! Excuse me? Uh, yes. What? Recognize us? How? Yeah, I'll show I, you. Follow me. I'd, I'd like to... Um... Okay. Oh, there's another. Lucy, hi. Did you see all these new... Oh, you've got them with you. Huh. And I think <gasps> my phone went off. Oh, wait. Well, first it was the portraits of the people already here, then poof. You guys. Huh? Whoa, that's unexpected. Yeah, no kidding. They're absolutely exquisite. Perfect. <laughs> well, not perfect. <laughs> he has a little red nose. Absolutely perfect. Uh, <laughs> whoops. Must have been when we showed up. Flattering how well they captured our likenesses. This is so ridiculously creepy. Oh, there's, I think, damn right? TV, the At first Riker. I was like, oh, cool, fan art. Flattering. But the more I thought about it, creepy is definitely right. Well, that's oh. definitely not a good sign. <laughs> no, that's Come not. Come on, everyone. Oh, let's huddle up in the dining room. Oh, yep, there is Dan. wonder if he told them yet. Can't wait to hear the big news. Me neither. Huh. Ooh, I hope there's cake. Okay. There's not. Come on, let's do this. Come on, Winslow. Oh, cat. I <laughs> think I didn't notice that before. I do agree, that is quite creepy. Let me check my phone into the Oh, Here, let me oh. introduce you all properly. Guts. You guys already met Cassie Rose and LD Shadow Lady. Uh, but my friends call me Lizzie. Okay, this is nice. Stacy Plays, Stampy Cat, and that's Dan, the Diamond Minecart. <laughs> w when did your hair change color? Wasn't it? It's funny. Before you guys showed up, we all knew each other here. They're the Order of the Stone. Jesse, Petra, yep. Lucas, and Ivor. Yeah. Apparently, much. they're famous heroes where they come from. Hmm. You said there was news? Is it good? Good news? Uh, Not exactly. Yeah, it's, um, bad news, I'm afraid. Torque Dog 
is dead. Good heavens! No! Wait, what? But Torque Dog was so tough! There was nothing that could take him down. What happened? Yeah, what on earth is going on here, Sparkles? Finish it. These are what got him. Tipped arrows? Does this mean someone set a trap for Torque Dog? That's nasty. And probably for the rest of us as well. I can't believe Torque Dog's gone. Just like that. So, what happened to his stuff? Whoa! How can you say that? What? It's a valid question. Whoa. Come on, everyone. Come on. Don't get greedy. Just... I want to know what happened. For curiosity's sake. His stuff just disappeared. Went down this weird hole in the floor. Yeah. Are we just supposed to take your word for that? Guys, I saw it too. Jesse was poking around in Torque Dog's stuff right before it got sucked into a hopper. Yep. So I'm looking at this situation, I'm trying to figure something out. Is this just about Torque Dog, or is there a bigger picture? Yeah, Good question. why have our portraits? I don't know, guys. Knowing Torque Dog, I think this might just be about him. Am I picking up some beef here? Uh, what? No! I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, but then why invite us all here? Good point. That's true. Hadn't thought about that. Yeah. Well, someone brought us here for a reason, including Talk Dog. What if we're all in danger? Oh my gosh, Dan's right! Whoever's doing this, they could be hunting us! Hunting us? Hey, yeah. Come on, everyone. If there's one thing I believe in, it's teamwork. Yeah. If we all stick together and get through this as a team, we'll be fine. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just uh, inspiring. I apologize there if you I'm go, not guys. speaking as much. Teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, all of this <laughs> danger talk has my stomach all queasy. Stampy, come over here. I need to talk to you about something. Lizzie. Mm. Psst. Lizzie. The more I think about it, the more I think that there's something these people really don't want us to know. You One think? of them's got to know the truth about what's going on here. It'd be nice to figure out what on earth is going on here, especially if we're going to be stuck with these people until dawn. Sounds like we've got a mystery to solve, people. Yep. Luckily, mm. Detective Jesse is on the case. It is nice looking armor. Let's get investigating then. Hmm. Ooh, that's a cool portrait of. Let's talk to Dan and uh, Lizzie. Hey there, Dan. Lizzie? Oh, uh, hello? Hi there. <laughs> if you don't mind, I actually had some questions about this torque dog situation. Yeah. Yeah? Go ahead. Seemed like people were really interested in seeing Torque Dog's inventory. Any idea why? An adventurer like him, he could have had all kinds of cool stuff. Except he uh -huh. didn't. Torque Dog was clearly targeted with this trap. Why him? Well, he was bragging about having some kind of rare item. Unless Wouldn't it's... show it to anyone, of course. Typical Torque Dog. Unless it was taken when he was. So this rare item that Torque Dog claimed to have. What can you tell me about it? We don't know exactly. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Lizzie, seems like you're not much of a Torque Dog fan. What's the deal? Oh, come on. You met him, right? Nobody liked that guy. I'm just the only one who will actually admit it. He, um, yeah, he definitely wasn't the nicest person. <laughs> okay, that's it for now. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you find out? It's all tangled up, but it sounds like Torque Dog claimed to have some sort of rare item. I hmm. didn't see anything like that in his inventory, though. So he probably hit yeah, it somewhere. Something's not quite adding up here. Uh, Stampy, Stampy and Stacy. Oh, I, I just noticed I still had the foot and seal. Hey, guys. Stampy and Stacy, right? Oh, um, uh, hello. Hey, <laughs> Jesse. What's up? I know things are a little nuts right now, but I've got some questions. Oh, yeah. Really? Uh, but what? Um. Stacy, you seem pretty curious about what was in Torque Dog's inventory. What's up with that? Well, Torque Dog was a pretty notorious thief. I was just curious what he had. That's it. Nothing mm -hmm. of value. Mm hmm. I mean, redstone dust. Seems like Lizzie and Torque Dog really didn't like each other. Know anything else about that? Oh, that! Real shame, real shame. He broke into her house and stole a bunch of stuff from her. She was super upset about it. 
Hmm. You don't say. Anyone you can think of that would want something bad to happen to Torque Dog? Um, well, I never had that big of a problem with him personally, but I know other people did. Quite a few, actually. I don't know if you noticed, but he was a bit of a griefer. Yeah, and a thief. Thief, huh? Interesting. Okay. Thanks, you two. This has been enlightening. No problem. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> so, did you find anything out from Stacy or Sturdy Cat? Stampy Cat? Right, right. Hey, whoops. So, did you find anything out? <laughs> Apparently, Torque Dog was a well known thief. A thief, huh? Well, that might have something to do with it, don't you think? Agreed. So, he may have stolen a rare item. And let's talk to Sparkles and Cassie. Or Cassie and Sparkles. Hey, Sparkles and Cassie Rose, yeah? Yep. Hi. That's me. Hey there, Jesse. Oh, Winslow says hi, too. <laughs> <laughs> you mind if I ask you guys some questions? <laughs> okay. Nope. What are the questions? Um. There was drama between Lizzie and Torque Dog, right? Yep. Got mm -hmm. any insight? Oh, Sorry, I'm not getting wrapped off up apologies. in that. Especially now that Torque Dog is, you know. But it's weird, right? It definitely seems like there's some beef. Uh, not that I um, want to get into rumors or anything like that. Okay. Uh, uh, Cassie, you seem pretty upset about people wanting to poke around Torque Dog's inventory. Oh, was I? Yeah, yeah, you were. Why was that? Just a question. Well, it was just so... It's insensitive, right? I mean, it, it had just happened, and she was all curious about what was in his pockets. Just made me mad, I guess. I mean, yeah, you kind of have to respect this despawning corpse. Got any guesses why someone would kill Torque Dog? Uh, gosh, gosh, um, he was a little prickly around the edges, <laughs> I, you know? I bet. <laughs> You'd have to ask other people about that. I, I didn't really know him. Mm-hmm. Hmm. I don't want to say anything mean about a guy that's not here to defend himself, but, well, you met him, right? Prickly is kind of an understatement. <laughs> I, I... I asked Stacy about why she wanted to see Torque Dog's inventory so bad. She said she was just curious. Huh, just like me. What a coincidence. Sparkles, Cassie, Winslow, thanks for the time. <laughs> no problem. Thank uh, you. Yeah, anytime. <laughs> okay. Get anything out of them? Found out this group has a whole lot of secrets they're keeping from each other. That's definitely something. Mm-hmm. So, Torque Dog was a thief, and he supposedly had something rare, but I feel like there's still a piece missing. No one will tell me what this rare item is. I, uh, I think I can shed some light on that situation, actually. Well, now my curiosity is piqued. Why is everyone so secretive about this thing? What's the big deal? Good question. There's a temple way out in the middle of nowhere. Ah. No one knows who built it, but it's been there forever. Ooh. People have been trying to track down the temple's location for ages because they want this treasure. It's supposedly deep in its basement. Hmm. Now, it looks just like an ordinary flint and steel. But it's oh, actually it's got an super rare. Oh, my. It's got this enchantment on it. It can open portals to other worlds? Exactly. Wait, what? You know about the enchanted flint and steel? How did you know that? Um, have, you, have you seen it? Have you seen it today? I actually have one of my own. Really? Yeah, I do. Just used it a little oh, while geez, ago to get... Put that away. You, you can't just pull that out here. Okay. Uh, you know, I had a theory about why you were here, and I, I think this might just prove it. Hmm. Okay. Everyone? Everyone? We've all been freaking out, wondering why we were all brought here. Why uh, Torque Dog died? Uh, and Jesse has just uncovered a very important clue. What? Really? Whoever killed Torque Dog, whoever invited us, they're after the enchanted flint and steel. Ah! Whoa. Sparkles? Panic, 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 what panic, 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 and Greetings, adventurers. I am the White Pumpkin. Oh yeah, we've got to talk when about agriculture. Is the treasure oh. I desire, and I will not rest until it is mine, even if I have to resort to murder. Oh, 
I heard Sparkle say something about a flint and steel. Oh, please don't bring that up again. Well, obviously Talk Dog didn't steal it. Okay, but who then? Uh, Jesse? Oh boy, yep. Sparkle's dead, <laughs> we know. Oh, wait, there's other... Oh, I forgot oh. about the other pictures. I guess I'm next then. Nope, not happening. Well, your inventory's clean, right? No flint and steel? Why would he want you? I suppose he's just being thorough. Yeah. Also, I'm sure I've got something he wants. Well, I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for how the White Pumpkin is doing all this. I mean, the whole place has got to be rigged with traps, right? Torque Dog, trap. Sparkles, trap. Yeah, we need to find out what makes these traps tick. Hmm. All right, I'm going to investigate that dining room. Cool. I'll keep those guys in the hall for now so I can keep an eye on everyone. An excellent idea. Don't want them messing up the crime scene. I'm sticking with you, Jesse. Doesn't seem safe to wander off alone. Okay, people, clear out. This is a crime scene. Hmm. Okay, how are you doing this, White Pumpkin? My good question. Fireplace? Impressive. Anything? Nah, it looks like a regular old fireplace. Looks like. Main word. Dining dining table, which apparently I have to go all the way around just to examine. Okay, so this was the dining table where we were all gathered together right before. Uh, but. Okay, let's give this a shot. Just like before. Greetings, adventurers. I am the White Pumpkin. Yep. One of you just like the before. treasure I desire. And I will not rest until it is mine. Even if I have to resort to murder. Hmm. It's just a costume on an armor stand with a jukebox for the voice. No sign of how it was triggered. Huh, okay. Wow. The White Pumpkin must have some amazing redstone skills to rig up something like this. Yep. But why? It must have taken a lot of work to rig up. I think it could have been to throw us off the trail. Make us think there were two White Pumpkins or something. Well, hopefully something else in here can shed a little more light on the situation. Hmm. Jesse! He's back! The White Pumpkin's back! Don't worry, everyone, it's just a dummy. A white pumpkin costume on an armor stand. Wait, what? Why? The trap that killed Sparkles, the whole show with the white pumpkin, it was all triggered by a button on the table. But what does that mean? I am so creeped out right now. Understandably. It means that the white pumpkin sat at this very table and pushed the button. 
Get Wait, up. so you're saying that the white pumpkin is one of us? That's right, Mr. Stampy. One of us is a murderer. Hmm. And he sat right here. Wait, but that's not where Jesse found the button before. There's more than one? I'll see if I can find all of them. Hmm. Nice work, Jesse. Yes. I must say I'm relieved to know that there's a logical explanation for what the White Pumpkin's been doing. Hmm. So what now? Feels like we've made some good progress so far though, right? Yeah, uh... We need to figure out the most likely suspects and interrogate them. Yep. Judging by the tipped arrows in these traps, the White Pumpkin must have some serious chops in brewing and redstone. So basically... Okay, that's all of them. If you could all please take the same seat you were at before. Four of your seats are marked. These are the seats that had a button to activate the trap. That means the White Pumpkin could only be Dan, Stampy, Lizzie, or Lucas. Wait, you're accusing us? Wait, what? I echo their sentiments exactly. I didn't even see a button. <laughs> Me neither. This is crazy. I'm not hey, 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 you. I'm not yep. accusing anyone yet. It sure sounds like you're accusing us, stranger, and I don't care for it. I'm taking charge now, and I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I want everyone separated. I'm going to talk to each suspect one by one so I can find out who's telling the truth and who's lying. I got a whole lot of questions, and I want nice little matching answers for each and every one of them. Understand me? Loud and clear. Yes, crystal clear. Who are you going to interrogate first? Um, how about Dan? Dan. Okay, I wonder if that means something's gonna happen or something's not gonna happen or who knows. We're not gonna interrogate Lucas because we kind of hope that he's not the white pumpkin. Wait, why is this hair all grayish now? I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. Honest. I would never hurt anyone. You've got to believe me. If anyone's been wronged here, it's me. That enchanted flint and steel everyone's talking about, I found that. That's mine. At least it was before someone stole it. And now everything's gone completely crazy. People getting caught in horrible traps. I That's why you invited everyone here, huh? To find out who stole it? What? No, 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 no. I didn't invite anyone. That's not what's going on. <laughs> I was invited here, same as everyone else. Okay. Uh-huh. I'm not the White Pumpkin. You've got to believe me. What can I tell you to convince you? Well, dispenser. So, how do you rate your redstone knowledge? Me? Whew, not much. Not really my scene. You want to know more about that stuff? You should <laughs> ask Stampy. He was the Tri-Block Champion. Okay. Tri-Block Champion? Yeah, for three years running. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. Out with it. Who stole the flint and steel? Oh, well, Lizzie, obviously. She was jealous. Never uh, got over the fact okay. that I found it first. Hmm. Okay. Show know me anything her. about this? Oh, wow. Uh, no, I've never seen anything like that before. No? Tipped arrows not ringing a bell? Made using potions? Hmm. Nuh-uh, but you want to know about stuff with potions? I'll ask Lizzie. She's way better with that stuff than I am. I always go to her with potion questions. Noted. Okay. You can go now, Dan. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you. Who's up next? How about... Stampy. Send Stampy in here. Right. Hello! Uh, I saw Dan on his way out, and I don't know what he told you, but... Jesse, I'm telling you, this is just crazy! Absolutely crazy! Total misunderstanding! I'm not accusing anyone! I don't um. even want that flint and steel thingy! Not um, as much as the others, at any rate! Did I hear someone saying that it has something to do with portals? I don't have any interest in portals! No, sir! Not for all <laughs> Mr. Stumpy Cat, thank you! Um. It's me, Stumpy! Everyone's friend! I gotta say, Stampy, you seem nervous. Everything okay? You comfortable? Um, what? No, I'm not nervous. No, nope, uh. totally comfortable. I could fall asleep right here, right now. I'm that comfortable, honestly. 
Uh, no. Please, just tell me what you want to know. Okay. So, Lizzie was good with potions. So, hold on. Okay, th- enough dancing around. Who do you think took the flint and steel? Honestly? I think it was Lizzie. She wanted to get it back from Dan. Don't think she ever really got over him sniping her for it. Sad, really. Hmm. What do you know about redstone? What's your skill level with the stuff? Oh, well, you know, about average? Average level? Moderate? I, I don't know how these things are graded these days. That's strange. I heard from Dan that you were the tri block champion. Hey, what? <laughs> no, no, no. I wish. <laughs> no, he must be mistaken. Okay. But, um, I have seen Lizzie do some pretty amazing things with redstone. Just putting that out there, if you're curious. Hmm. Know anything about this? Oh, wow. What is that? Some sort of magic arrow? No, I've never seen anything like it before. Honest. You know who would love to see something like that, though? Lizzie. Lizzie. She's wild about potions and brewing and all of that. She's way better with that stuff than I am. Good with potions, you say? Very good. Could probably even teach a class. <laughs> okay, so we have a conflicting report with Redstone. You're excused, Stampy. Thank you for your time. So if you can conf- oh, conflict with goodness. Redstone, this room's making me but nothing very with nervous. potions. And stealing, I don't think, was a conflict either. Okay. And just make sure to ask Lizzie about that magic arrow. She's very good with those things. Hmm. Want me to send in Lizzie? That'd be great. Thanks, Petra. Yep. Okay. Phone's downloading stuff, apparently. Jesse, listen. There's been a lot of talk thrown around today. I don't know what people have told you, I don't know what you believe, but I'll just admit it. I want that enchanted flint and steel as much as anyone. Probably more than any of them. I've been searching for it for years. Okay, so... Do you know how much it's stung to have Dan, Dan, swoop in and take it from under my nose? Hang on, I thought you said you found it. Well, I as good as found it. I did the research, I did the studying, I was all prepared to go in there and finally get it when that little goggle-wearing goon swept in and stole it first. Listen, I just want to get out of here and get on with my day. What do you have to hear to be convinced that the white pumpkin isn't me? Know what this is? Tipped arrow. Kind of shoddy work, though. Definitely not one of mine, if that's what you're wondering. Some noob made that thing. How can a noob make... Tipped arrows are quite... Yeah, I knew what a tipped arrow was. I'm a good brewer. Doesn't mean it's mine. Okay. I taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those ages ago. No, because... Everyone else seems to think otherwise. What? What are you talking about? Yeah. Everyone I ask says that you're the only one with the skills here to make something like this. Okay, sure. Of the people here, maybe. Doesn't make me the white pumpkin, though. Ah. I'm not sure I like you implying otherwise. I'm just going to be straight. Who do you think stole the flint and steel? Well, it wasn't me, if you're curious. If I had an enchanted flint and steel, I'd be off exploring some other world with it. Mm. Between you and me, though, I think Dan's whole story about it being stolen from him is a load of trash. I bet he's still got it. So, okay. You like using redstone? Ever make traps with the stuff? I'm fine, I guess. I can make lights and doors and stuff. You want to do advanced stuff? You gotta talk to Stampy. Again, he was Stampy. the tribot champion. Mm. So I've heard. Thanks for your time, Lizzie. That's all for now. Oh, man. I don't know who... Oh, come on! This is nuts! You had a button, too! Fair's fair. It's your buddy's turn next. Hey, Jesse. (laughs) Ah, my final suspect. Here to point more fingers and blame more people, I'm sure. I didn't push the button, you know. I figured. Thanks, though. How's it been going in here? It is just non-stop whispering and rumors out there. Me, Petra, and Ivor pretty much been sticking to ourselves. It's so hard to say. I mean, the way they keep throwing each other on the minecart tracks, it's like they're all guilty. Or perhaps they are. Or if there's one person who can untangle it, it's you. <laughs> Thanks, Lucas. Well, Come on, suspect. It's time to return to the others. Winky, winky. So... Have you decided? Yes. Who do you think the white pumpkin really is? Now, hang on. Hang on, everyone. First of all, I want to thank everyone for answering my questions. There's still not 100% proof of anyone, but... But... Yes. 
Where are your suspicions, Lady Jessie? Jessie was definitely questioning Stampy the longest. What? No! Dan was in there way longer. Hey, not cool. Guys, guys, come on. I actually don't think there's evidence to accuse anyone yet. What? Yeah, that seems surprising. I'm sorry, but I don't want to accuse anyone unless I'm 100% sure. And I'm not. Wow. Well, we cut Stampy you in take line. a bold stance, Jesse. Well, I, for one, am not comfortable being surrounded by possible killers. So if you'll excuse me, I'm going to barricade myself in the library for my own safety. Fine, suit yourself. Yeah, I'm more in the safety and numbers camp myself. <laughs> well, that was certainly some excitement. Yeah, no kidding. If the White Pumpkin is still roaming mm. around, though, he might be trying to set up more traps. We need to figure out how these things work. Like, we know that the Sparkles trap was triggered by those buttons under the table, but what about the trap that turned Torque Dog into a pincushion? Mm. If we figure out how these things work, we might be able to find more proof about who the White Pumpkin is, how they're operating. It must have been triggered from nearby, just like the table buttons. Yeah. Sounds like we need to investigate near the trap, then. You guys go on ahead. I'm gonna stay here, keep an eye on these other people. I don't want them trying anything when we're not looking. Thanks, Lucas. Hmm. Back in the kitchen. So, what are we looking for exactly? Well, we saw the dispenser. Buttons like back in the dining room? We just need more evidence. Anything that can draw a link to one of these people. Hmm. Got it. I'm on the lookout. Painting? Does this painting have eye holes? It does. Oh, yeah. How did I not notice that before? It seems <gasps> worth it's taking a, door. a closer inspection. It's a door. Oh, Lord. Well, let's examine all the arrested stuff first. Hmm. I wonder where Torque Dog's stuff went when he got sucked away. And Sparkle's stuff, for that matter. Mm-hmm. So... These ovens have been busy since we first got here. Who needs that much food? Okay. I'll investigate the, the thing in just a second. I don't know if there's anything... Nope, nothing. Okay. Let's punch this... thing. Oh! It looks like a... it's a weapon. It's some sort of secret passageway. Very clever. What do you suppose that lever does? Uh, back away from the trap. Thank you very much, please. Okay, everyone, make sure you're nowhere near that arrow trap. Run. More of those potion-covered arrows. Nasty. Well, seems like we found out how the White Pumpkin killed Torque Dog. Yeah, and how he's getting around the house. Hmm. I assume we're investigating the creepy passageway? I think we've come too far to turn around now. You was so, yes, you well, assume correctly. After you then. Okay. Killer instincts. Oh, great. I hope Dan's okay locked up in the library. We could have put them in even bigger danger. What if there are more traps in there? Unless Dan is the White Pumpkin. In that case, we're just keeping everyone else safe. Yeah, I guess. No, I wait, no, we no, we're not. For. We would not. Because he would be able to move around the room. Move around in Sacred Passage. Ooh, okay, um... What do you think that is? Uh, another... No idea. But look, a lever! Don't... No... The amount of redstone wiring that must be hidden in this place. Amazing! Ivor, no! What do you think I am? Dance! I was just looking at it! Oh, good. Thanks for the vote of confidence, though. <laughs> You're welcome. See anything that this lever might be connected to? Let's see. That is quite creepy. What do you <laughs> see? It's the library. Oh. And Dan is still there. 
I see Dan locked up in there. Lizzie, what are you doing in here? I snuck in past that blonde guy. Lucas, I think. We have to talk. About what? I know you pushed the button. No, that's not true. You don't have to lie to me, Dan. I know it was an accident. I know you're not the white pumpkin. Oh, thank goodness. That's such a relief. Yeah, it was an accident, and I felt awful about it ever since. Oh, it's such a relief to be able to talk about this. It's been absolutely tearing me up inside. I'm sure. I just... Haven't you learned anything about not pushing buttons? Oh, come on. Nothing like this has ever happened when I pushed a button. I feel the just... The white pumpkin, so he's in there. Then let's go kick his butt. What? Oh. Uh... Yeah. What? What on earth? Spiders. Jesse? Spiders are everywhere! Okay, I'll see if I can get in another way! Oh, awesome, you have gold swords. Why? I have to go towards him, sorry. <laughs> That's not good. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Try to keep up. Oh, yeah. Run. Oh. Soul sand. Oh, run or your luck's about to run out. Oh, I oh, geez. <laughs> nice under furling, though. <laughs> That's Igor's, I think. Oh, this guy. This guy's fit. <laughs> there! Jesse, I'll cut him off! Jeez, <laughs> <sighs> oh, come on. Uh, Lucas? Give me a moment. I'm trying to figure this one out myself. What happened, Lucas? I thought you were chasing the white pumpkin. Uh, yeah, I was. And I almost had him until, you know, he took me by surprise and stuffed this pumpkin on my head. What? Well, what's going on in here? No! <gasps> you called the white pumpkin! Grab him, quick! On it! Get out of our way, Jesse. Yeah, it's all out in the open now. You can't defend your friend anymore. No, no, no. I know what's going on here, and I won't stand for it. One of you 
is still the white pumpkin. You're just trying to pin it on Lucas. Yeah, bold words. Especially coming from someone with a knack for locking up innocent people. It's the facts, Jesse. These horrible things only started happening when your group arrived. And now Lizzie is gone too. I say we throw him outside and let nature take its course. What? Out outside, outside? Where all the googlies are? No, you can't do that. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I still have my suspicions about Lucas, but Jesse your did Your hair keeps changing. Me. I don't feel right about chucking your friend to the zombies. Hmm. Brave stance. Thank you. See? You all heard Dan, right? Who keeps changing his hair. Fine. <sighs> Thank you. Don't go celebrating yet. We've still got to do something with you so you're not roaming around freely. What? Like, lock me up in a closet or something? There was a closet in the main hall with a lovely metal door. Seems like a perfect place to lock someone up. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I was mostly joking. I guess that's fair. But I'm keeping guard because I still don't trust him. That cool with everyone? That's funny because I don't trust you. It's fine, Jesse. I'll watch over Lucas. Okay. Awesome. Come on, Cassie. But don't go getting any funny ideas, blonde guy. This isn't because I like you or anything. <laughs> no, of course not. Be quiet. Prisoners aren't supposed to talk. Okay, well, what are we supposed to do now? We need to figure out how we're going to clear Lucas's name. And I'd like to do it sooner rather than later. Seems like some of these people are getting a little stir-crazy. Yeah. Somehow the White Pumpkin was able to escape that room when Lucas chased him into it. We need to figure out how he did that. Agreed. Sounds like a plan to me. Dan, I know that you're innocent, but you're still a suspect, Stampy Cat. Got some questions. Seriously? Where Seriously. were you when the chase with the White Pumpkin was going on? I... I don't want to say. Aw, oh, come on, Stampy. You're just making yourself look more guilty. Where were you? Fine. I was sitting in a corner, humming to myself. It calms me down. Uh-huh. Okay, I'll leave you guys to it. Uh -huh. Sounds good. <laughs> okay. What do you want? You've been pretty aggro on accusing Lucas. Seems a little suspicious. Not nearly as suspicious as Lucas. Where were you when I was chasing the white pumpkin? Making cookies. I get a sweet tooth when I'm nervous. Don't go anywhere, Stacy. <sighs> sure. Hmm. Okay. Let's look at this. Hmm. Hmm. I'm gonna punch the uh, middle one. The secret passage with sands, arrows, and webs. Well, this looks promising. Hmm. I wonder what order these need to be in. Take oh, yep, I know it. It's arrow, it's arrow, sands, arrow, sand, web because that's the order where people died, unfortunately. Something. Okay, that seems like a step in the right direction. Yep. Place web. Cowblink. And cowblink. Lock oh, number. Yeah, that seems right. Lock number three. And lock number two. 
There we go. Awesome. Okay. Oh, wow! You got it open! Yeah, you guys should stay here. It could be dangerous. No, I totally want to follow you into your friend's creepy secret passageways. Ugh, seriously? You really think Lucas did it? You haven't proven that he didn't yet. Hey, we're gonna prove he's innocent, you'll see. Sure, well, see you back here at quarter to never. Yep. Come on, Petra. Thanks for having my back. Wow, that is deep. Guess it leads down to whatever the White Pumpkin calls home. I wonder how he gets down there. Maybe in addition to walking through walls, he can fly for all we know. Ugh! Creative mode. <laughs> it's just... I'm really worried about Lucas. Those people think they're all safe, but the White Pumpkin is still running around, and he could strike again at any minute. Not to mention, all those people back there have been so ungrateful, so petty. Hey, Petra, I understand, okay? I'm with you. I, yeah. <laughs> right. I know you're right. <sighs> Sorry, Jesse. I just really needed to get that off my chest. We're gonna get through this. Let's start by figuring out how we're gonna get down there, huh? Wait. You're... You know the drill. What have you got in your inventory? Didn't you have all those wood blocks? Oh, yeah. Oh. Sorry. I was whittling earlier. Nervous habit. Oh, st Well, luckily those should do just the trick. Oh, ladders, yeah. <laughs> we can still make ladders, right. <laughs> oh! Do you think a ladder? Yeah. Gonna need a lot of them. Uh, it's a good thing you have five stacks of sticks, I think. I'll race you. <laughs> You're on. <laughs> Oh boy, I'm gonna have to. St <laughs> Am I seriously gonna have to put all these individually? Am I serious? <laughs> Whoops, bug. done. Don't. Done. Don't. Oh man. <laughs> Thanks. I needed that. A little slight All right, there. we got a lot more of these to make. Please tell Let's me get I don't. To work. Please tell me I don't have to make these all individual. Okay, thank God. Okay. I am so glad I don't have to make these all individually. Oh. Okay, that's one down. Lots more to go. Yep. <sighs> oh, boy. <laughs> so many sticks. Oh. The science of deduction. Hmm. Okay, then. Uh, any oh there we go. I was about to say any year yeah year now. <laughs> See? Told you we'd make it. Yeah, I just hope this works. You think we're gonna find the white pumpkin down here? Let's hope so. With all these secret passageways, it's so hard to tell where he might be. I'll be honest, I hope we do. And this time he's not walking away with just a scar on his mask. Brutal. I like it. <laughs> hey, do you hear? Lots and lots of zombies? Yeah, I do. I'm starting to smell them too. Oh, ditto. Gross. It could be a zombie spawner. Hello. Oh, that explains all the zombie noises. And smells. Don't forget smells. They're all caged up, jeez. Oh, what do you know? Zombie spawner. What in the world is that? <clears throat> what? Some sort of, like, zombie spawner. Does that mean the white pumpkin actually made the sea of zombies outside? That's what it looks like. Hmm. What's that? It's an item elevator. 
And it's another grinder. Oh, that's... That's... I think this is where people's stuff goes after those hoppers upstairs suck it up. You're right. I think that's Lizzie's. Yeah. Okay, but where's the loot going from here? Hopefully right to the white pumpkin. Hey, you see the light coming yeah, out of that tunnel okay. too, right? Huh? Sorry, I'm not oh, talking yeah. a lot. And it doesn't look like it's blocked off like all the uh, zombie filled ones. Yep. If we can get up there, I think we might be able to follow the loot to wherever it's going. Well, that's awesome. Nice find. How do you want to get up there? Grab some dirt, Petra. We're going climbing. Yep. Spamming the A button. Here we go. Oh, that took. Okay, I think we can jump from here. Yeah, that's... Gotcha. Oh, that was almost embarrassing. <laughs> Thanks, Jesse. Don't worry, it was only been going to be no me problem. to see it. It was only going to be me to see it, so... There's no need for me to tell anyone. So. And I hear a cat. Weird. That almost sounds like... Cats? Wait. Whoa. Of course it's a... It's just some sort of growing station. Weird. gave me a fright. What are you doing down here? What are we doing down here? Yes, it looks terribly suspicious, you know. Scared you? You scared us half to death. Stop sneaking around like that. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I don't know if you noticed, but this place is very creepy. And how did you get here? Come on, you guys. I can't be the white pumpkin. I'm Stampy Cat. I'm no murderer. Huh? I needed to find you because I have something important to tell you. I have something to confess. Something I haven't told anyone. Where is this going? Green flint and steel? Uh, I stole it from Dan. It was just supposed to be a joke, a harmless prank, but then, well, you've seen what happened. Wow. Who'd have thought? I knew people wanted it, but I had no idea that, that this would happen. Well, why didn't you tell anyone? I was scared, okay? People started dying, and then <laughs> I didn't want them to think that I did it. I may be a thief, but I'm no killer. But that white pumpkin is, and he's killing people for it. And now we're down in his lair. I was thinking... Maybe I should just give it to the white pumpkin. What? Just maybe that would make it all stop, right? <laughs> maybe? First we need to figure out who this white yeah. pumpkin really is, then we'll figure out what to do from there. I I suppose that's a better strategy. Yeah. Well, okay. That looks like a lair door if I ever saw one. Really? Can bring out your sword if you have one. Axe, shovel, diamond hoe. <laughs> oh wow! Very creepy. I would not put this in my top ten places I've ever been. No. Well, there's where the meowing's coming from. But why? Don't is... worry. We'll get out of here as soon as we find something that proves the white pumpkin's identity. <laughs> so it can't be Stampy because he has stuff. Chest of the dead OGs. Oh, Wait a second. Petra, did you see this? That's the That's portal. That's the portal hallway. 
Yeah, it looks like the white pumpkin's been there too. Okay. Hmm. Let's see here. Legend of the World portals, basic, basic portal theory, portals and you. Hmm. Wow, they're all about portals. That's pretty obsessive. Agreed. Uh, Chests of the dead, jeez. Oh no. Here's where everyone's stuff gets collected. <laughs> There's Lizzie's. <sighs> Those poor people. Hey, at least we're not dead, right? There's a lake. With fish. There's no fish mops. <laughs> There's no such thing as a fish mop. The closest thing is a squid and guardians. Stampy and Petra. Oh, talk to, talk to. Whoops. You guys doing okay? I'll be honest with you. I'm pretty worried about Lucas. If the white pumpkin isn't down here, he must still be upstairs. And I thought that I was okay because I was numb and feeling no emotions at all. But I'm beginning to suspect it was actually shock. Don't worry, we're gonna crack this wide open. I certainly hope so. We have crafting table, ta okay, let's loot this chest. Oh. I'm guessing this chest should have... Oh, yep, we've got sticks. We got sticks. Anything else? Oh, wow, and ender pearls. Sweet, that must be how the white pumpkin got down that elevator shaft. Yeah. Potion brewing stand? Looks like a typical brewing stand. Must be where the white pumpkin made the tipped arrows that killed Torque Dog. Didn't Lizzie say that she taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those too? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, she did. Cobwebs. Let's look at the top cops. Should be able to get some string from those cobwebs. It'll go perfectly with those sticks I found. So we can make a bow. Go with B, cut. Whoops. Nice. <laughs> and the cats don't mind at all. Look at the cat chest. <laughs> that chest definitely seems important. Okay, kitty kitty, can you scoot out of the way, please? I need to get in the chest. <laughs> the cats are... No! Bad kitty! Oh, stupid cats. I need something to distract it if I'm gonna get that chest open. Hmm. Uh, crap. Oh, we have a po- okay. We have a poison arrow. Oh, well, perfect. We have- What can we make with- oh. Oh, fishing rod. Okay. <laughs> I'm just thinking it's like, oh yeah, the show is cool, so. Fishing rod. My best enemy, my best weapon, besides oh, my- Oh, to get a fish! Cats love fish! Oh, yeah! Yeah, and I saw one in the pond that'll be perfect. Fishing pole! Oh, there's some chest, more chests up there. Kapoink. Come here, fishy. Ah! Wow. Nice catch, Jesse. Thanks. Bet that cat'll love this. Hmm. Hey, kitty. Get out of the chest. I'll give you a fish if you do. Okay, here, kitty. Get the fishy. No. Meow. There you go. Jeez. Oh, many cats, so many cats. <laughs> Can't say I'm too surprised. Oh, cats give me the creeps. No offense, Stampy. None taken. I'm not really a cat. We so know. We'll finally get in here now. <laughs> we know. <laughs> it's full of portraits. Loads of them. Hmm. Whoa, what? Oh, I don't like that. I guess he already had all the X'd out ones ready to go. Okay, that makes that makes things a lot yep, less spooky. Besides Petra, we've got Dan, Stacy, Stampy, Lucas, Ivor, and 
Oh, hey, there's me. But what does it all mean? The cats, the crossed out portraits? Yeah, the portraits. There was one person who didn't have a crossed out portrait. Someone who's a known cat person. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So who did it? Yes, you figured it out? On, wait. The white pumpkin is Cassie Rose. What? I don't know. I... She's the murderer. I don't know. Man, you're totally right. I don't believe it. Uh, not only is she the white pumpkin, but she owns way, way too many cats. <laughs> Well, come on, you guys. It's time to prove Lucas's innocence and catch us a white pumpkin. To be brutally honest, I don't really know who I chose. <laughs> I know I, I think I saw Dan there, but I think I chose the right option. Question mark. Okay, okay. I think it's just. I'll we'll go round everyone up. What's going on? Yeah, you were gone an awful long time. What's going on here? Did you even find anything? Quickly, where's Cassie Rose? Hmm. Cassie. Why do you ask? Yeah, what's up? Yep, okay, so it was the cat person. Okay. No sign of Cassie, but... Huh? Are you gonna tell them, or should I just do it? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Jesse, go on. Is this going where I think this is going? The white pumpkin is Cassie Rose. <gasps> She's the murderer. <laughs> That's impossible. No way. No way. Yeah, Jesse, I'm afraid you're gonna have to do better than that. Look at the facts. We caught Lucas with that pumpkin head right after poor Lizzie got taken out. I think you're just lying to protect him. Cassie's making a lot of sense right now. Do you have any evidence to back you up? We have cats. Something that's been bothering me for a while now. Something that happened in the Great Hall shortly after Tork Dog was hit with that trap. What's that? Go on, Jesse. You've got this. Where is this going? Shh. Let Jesse finish. Cassie said she recognized us, even before we saw the portraits. Uh, actually, that was Lizzie. Oh, oh shoot. I guess I misremembered that. Well, no matter. I haven't even gotten to the really juicy stuff yet. That came next. When we were down in the basement, we found some very interesting items. Items for the White Pumpkin's evening festivities. And there was one very significant detail. What was this evidence? Shh. I think Jesse's about to tell everyone. The white pumpkin had yep. portraits all ready to go, pre exed out, one for each of us, except for Cassie. <gasps> Ooh, that's good. Okay, I think they're on the fence, but you can do this. Bring it home, okay? <laughs> but it was the last piece of evidence, dear friends, that helped me really figure out who we were dealing with here. Cats. Dozens of calico cats. And they all look just like, like Winslow. An amusing story, Jesse. But if you saw all these supposed cats just like mine, then what color is Winslow? It shouldn't be a problem if you saw a hundred. Cats? Really? Shh. Winslow is black, white, and orange. Yep, yep, Cassie, and is yeah. Is this all true? This whole thing has been about your crazy scheme to get a portal key, hasn't it? Killing whoever gets in your way. How very clever, Jesse. Well, I guess that's it then. You caught me. I am the murderer. Da, da, da. I just don't believe this. I know. I was shocked too. I'm relieved. But... Also surprised. But what did any of us ever do to you? Directly? Nothing. But you idiots had the one thing that I most desperately needed. I've been stuck in this stupid world with its stupid two moons for years! Trapped with a portal right under my nose, but no key to open it. That is, until I finally heard that this world's portal key yep. had been found. Actually, two portal keys. I knew it was one of you. So I tried my best to earn your friendship. Figure out who had it. Cassie, how could you? We shared cookies together. Cookies! You really think that's an excuse? 
You're pathetic, Cassie. It doesn't excuse all the horrible things you've done. That does not. Spoken just like a person who has no idea what it feels like to be stuck somewhere you don't belong. We need to do something with you, Cassie Rose. I vote we build an obsidian prison and surround it with love. No, 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 I won't let you do that. I can't. No. This is your fault. You did this to me. (laughs) I'll fight all of you. Each and every one of you. Another trap. We need to dig her out. After everyone she's hurt, she can dig herself out. She did terrible things, but no one deserves this. And she's dead. Wait, look! I can't believe it. She's gone. What a way to go. Yeah, I guess in all the chaos, she forgot where her own traps were. Wow. (laughs) Wow. The trap were taken out by one of her own traps. That's ironic. If only she had just asked us for help, we could have avoided this whole thing. Yeah. Hey, it's morning. And the zombie should be burning to death. I guess, I guess that's it then. Yeah, we're free. And we're alive. That's not wasted standing around. There could still be traps everywhere in here. Agreed. Oh boy, that's a lot of people who got killed. From the ashes. <laughs> if anyone wants rotten flesh, there's plenty to go around. Not that I think anyone really wants it. Oh, I've never been so happy to smell rotting flesh. Yeah, that is yikes, that is pretty rank. I feel bad thinking about the people who aren't here to smell it. Talk dog, sparkles, Lizzie, and Cassie, I guess. Uh, that's a good point. I tried my hardest, but there was nothing I could do. Oh, we all know that, Jesse. It's not your fault. Agreed. <laughs> Lucky for us, that portal brought you here. Speaking of which, I have no idea how to begin finding our exit portal. Well, Cassie said it was right under her nose, right? That's true. Maybe it's nearby. Hmm. Well, that's something. That's an odd shape. Hey, what do you know? There it is. A fabulous coincidence! So, I guess this is goodbye, huh? Yeah. Just let us know if you ever accidentally find yourselves in our world. (laughs) That's really nice of you, but I don't think we can really portal hop without a portal key. Oh, well, I think Stampy's got you covered there. You stole the portal key from me? It was just meant to be a prank, a harmless prank, and I'm so sorry, so very, very sorry. Yeah, come on, it's Stampy. You know he would never actually try to hurt anyone. And so the drama anyway, continues. continues. <laughs> Fascinating. Great. Thank hey, you. whoever keeps it, just make sure you're careful with it, okay? Yes. The ability to jump between worlds is not something to take lightly. Yeah. After all this craziness, I might be done chasing flints and steels and portals anyway. Yeah. Well, I'm not great at goodbyes, so I'm actually just going to start walking home. Thanks for everything. Yeah, me too. Travel safe, you guys. (laughs) Bye! (laughs) What a strange, strange bunch. Of individuals. Who are pro- which? Who are YouTubers? I bet. Which? I know Dan is obviously, and probably the rest are. Yeah, because those, those are. Cassie, names. what's her name, was talking about being trapped here, from another world. Hmm. What if she was one of the old builders? Portal keys, other worlds. <laughs> All adds up, I guess. Yeah. I know. Man, that's too bad if it's true, seeing as she turned out to be, you know, the white pumpkin and all. Yeah. Yes. Hadn't thought about that. I just can't believe that we finally met someone who might be an old builder, and she's a pumpkin-wearing serial killer. 
typical. <laughs> you can't ask for the best. Well, here we are. Would you care to do the honors, Jesse? Sure. Kazap. Wait, no, sorry. Now Kazap. Kazap. But. Huh? We need the green. We need the green That's one. That's weird. Winslow? That's. I thought. No! Oh! Say what now? There we go. What happened? I can't see a thing. Well, that's ominous. Yeah. Do you hear that? Silverfish. Endermites. And there it is, Jesse. Oh. You're trapped. Stuck. <laughs> Just like I've been in this rotten world. Come on, Cassie. Just let us go, and we can go our separate ways. After everything you've done to me? No. I don't know how much time you've spent with Endermites, but the poor things are eternally hungry. I would throw the flint and steel up here before I drop you down to find out how sharp their teeth are. Uh, guys, I dropped the flint and steel when we fell. I have no idea where it went. <laughs> tick tock, tick tock, Jesse. What's it gonna be? The flint and steel? Or your lives? Just give me the flint and steel and I'll let you go free. I don't believe her. Just because I hate this place doesn't mean it's so bad. Okay, you're right. You win. We'll give you the flint and steel. But let us out first. <laughs> no, I'm not falling for that one. Nope, this is taking too long. I'll just let the Endermites eat you and fish it out of your inventory. It'll be the best fishing trip ever. Oh, oh boy. Wings for my pet. Activate the trap. Want something done right, Captain? Prepare for your death. <laughs> Guys, Jesse. Come on, Winslow. Okay. Stupid door. No use! Without a lever, our button will never get these iron doors open! Just hold on, guys! I'm gonna get up to the control panel! Oh, that is disorienting! Brother, spam the A! Spam the A button! Uh, just started going faster. She booby trapped her booby traps? That is so paranoid. What? You thought you could do it just like that? Time to get leverage. Give me my key, Jesse. Guys, no! No! Hey, Jesse! Guys, holy crap, you're all alive, thank goodness. Yeah, for now. Don't worry, I found a lever. Throw it down! Okay, get ready. Yeah. <clears throat> Got it! Okay, you guys get to safety. I need to find that flint and steel. You're not a fast learner, are you? I grew tired of this game, Jesse. Okay, you didn't have it either. Oh no, it's mine. Nope. No. no. <laughs> oh jeez, okay. No, we are going home. Good boy, sweet kitty. Bring back to master. 
Here, kitty, kitty. Here, kitty, kitty. Think you should give that back, Cassie? No, I'm afraid not. Run. Turning A. I'll give you one thing. You are incredibly tenacious. Another. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Never act, Jesse. It stays on fire forever. Well, Winslow, that's the last of the obstacles. We're finally going home. <laughs> There's the real portal. Come on, Winslow. Winslow, Winslow, come on. Dove, I love him. You know I love you, but you look very really tired sometimes. <laughs> Hey, Cassie! Uh, what? Aren't you gonna say goodbye? Seems pretty rude to leave someone in a death trap without even saying goodbye. I don't know what you're playing at, but I'm bored with it. That's what we're playing at. Ah! What's, ah! What's going? Oh. Ah! <laughs> I got it! Excellent! I did it! <laughs> you're all dying now! Uh, no thank you! Got it! Proud of yourself. Look at me, stuck again, out of Ender Pearls. And that's where she wanted us to end up. Trapped in my own trap. <laughs> of course. Of course. I'm really sorry it had to be this way, Cassie. I wish it could have gone differently. Me too. Wait. At least don't leave me here all alone. Give me my cat. My dear sweet Winslow, he's my best, my only friend. Please. Fine. Here, kitty. Here, you pain in the butt, kitty. Ah, there you are, Winslow. Who loves you? Come to master. Oh, there you are. There you are. <laughs> you and me are together Jeez. forever, just like it was always meant to be. Oh, Trapped boy. together. Forever. Just me and my little Winslow. <laughs> wow, so she kept the real portal hidden down here all this time. Makes Unless sense. this one is a trap, too. I don't know if even she'd be that paranoid. Only one way to find out. <laughs> and... Coupling. Good terrain. Good side so far. Yeah. <laughs> no trick floors or arrows or anything. Okay, sure. But who's going first? We're a team, we all go together. Ready? One, two, two three. three! Move your butt, Luke. <laughs> okay, yeah. Adventure! Oh, really? <laughs> really? Elementary, my dear Jesse. Interesting achievement name. So one world had a wither storm, one world had giant skyblock dictator, in a way. <laughs> one and one world had a serial a serial killer with a bunch of YouTubers. Hmm. Okay then. Oh, 
next time on Minecraft Story Mode. Okay then. All right, oh. what's going on, dudes? It's me, Captain Sparkles. Next time on Minecraft Story Mode. After defeating the dreaded White Pumpkin, will Jesse and the others find their way back to the portal hallway? I thought you were and will dead. it lead them home? Or instead, are they destined for more perilous adventures? Well, I guess I'll never know because I got pounded into the ground by a ton of sand. I guess you saw that, right? I'm in the middle of an amazing speech, and boom! I've suddenly become part of the floor. This is an interesting I mean, ending. dude, you saw that, right? How much worse can it get? First, they choose not to invite <laughs> me on their adventure, and the next thing I know, I'm part of the floor. <laughs> anyway, one thing's for certain. Even without me, this is going to be an amazing adventure. Huh. <laughs> that, that's a pretty interesting ending. Wow. Okay, that's a lot. It's a lot of people who showed... Refuse to accuse anyone. Okay, that's yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so I chose all the majority choices, I think. Yes, I did, I think. So interesting. A portal to mystery. Okay. Basically a thing of who done it. Okay. So uh, if we escape this, okay. Ugh, damn, I'm tired. It's a good thing is loading screens were not as long as episode five. I'm so glad about that. Ugh, I really hated editing those out. Well, ow. I don't know. Do I have time for? I don't know. I may record another episode after this. I mean, I think I have time to do that. Depends on what time. Okay. So, <laughs> thank you everyone so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and or subscribe. Um, be sure to check the game link in the description below. I mean, probably not necessary because Season 2 is already out. I mean, definitely out by now. Actually, it is out by now and probably... I don't know. But thank you everyone so much for watching. Have a great day everyone. Bye!